Hi, I'm Mike with OWC and I have Matt from Engineering and we have the new iMac Pro. We're going to tear it down and see what's upgradable inside. Now we've been in previous iMacs before, but this is not a rev, a rev iMac, so to speak. Uh, so it's all new inside, so we don't know what we're going to find totally inside or what any hiccups we may encounter, so we'll take you along for the ride. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, Matt's going to score the uh, tape that uh, adheres the screen to the iMac because you got to get into the iMac through the front. Take it right along the edge here. Now this is not an installation video, so uh, you can't use this to install anything on the inside. So we'll actually be skipping steps for how to do that too. So you won't be able to use this for step-by-step -step instruction. This is a teardown video. And there's just usually a, like a quarter inch of tape or whatever, or a centimeter of tape around the edge here that we're actually scoring to separate the screen from the tape. And of course, we always go back a few times just to make sure we got everything. Because the worst thing to do is actually lift it off and break the glass. Because the glass is actually adhered to the display, so it's not just front glass we're moving, it's display, everything. Okay, next step's gonna be laying it down and getting the glass off. There we go. Okay, now for the third cable, we got it. So we want to gently lift this. One on this side, this is the bottom of the dish. screen out. Alright, so we've, we've displayed the iMac vertically so you can see what it looks like with the display gone and what the internals are. Looks like you have a left, right speaker. This is going to be a cooling assembly, two rather large fans. And up here is going to be your RAM sockets. Here's your wireless Bluetooth card. This is more than likely CPU with a heat sink on the other side. This is probably your GPU with a heat sink on the other side and power supply right here. Uh, the video cable is connected here, here, and then over here. And so we're going to set this back down and then we're going to have fun taking it apart. Let's start over here with the speaker assembly. Go ahead and undo this one. It's going to be our two Speaker assemblies loosened and moved off to the side. Okay, I've already removed one of the little fan connectors. It seems to just pull out very gently. Here's your RAM, and there's SSD. your SSDs. All right, so that's about as far as we need to go on the teardown. We're going to start focusing on the motherboard assembly and all the memory and SSDs and stuff, and then we're going to get the iMac out of the way, or the rest of the, the iMac shell out of the way. Got four RAM modules here, eight gigabytes each, because this is a standard 32 gigabyte machine. It's a one terabyte SSD. Apparently, we have two SSDs that Apple is rating together to get the one terabyte. Uh, heat sink assembly going to CPU and graphics. So there's four RAM modules. Here's the two SSDs and there are tamper-proof stickers on top of each one. Okay. 
SSD one, SSD two. Okay, look, it does look like Apple's using two SSDs. These are 512 gigabyte units, so they're rating the two drives together to form the one terabyte drive. Okay, next step is we're gonna remove the heat sink off the GPU and the CPU, so let's flip this over. Looks like we've got screws here and here, again. Tamper-proof stickers. Tamper-proof stickers. Yep, spring. Spring loaded. Okay, so it looks like there's a little metal plate. Okay. That's already loose. And the big reveal. So CPU is actually in there. It looks like it's thermal pasted to it. Yeah, thermal paste is holding it in there pretty tight. Rather well. And that's why you had the big pop, because the two springs are holding it down to keep it in contact with the socket. And so then that would be? This is going to be our GPU, which as you can see here, I'm going to use a vast abundance of heat sink compound for it also. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be your CPU, so it looks like the CPU will be possibly upgradable. But like with anything, we don't, we don't know for certain until we actually test it out and get back to you on that, but it's definitely promising. So one thing we're excited to actually be able to announce is that in the near future we'll have a, uh, a send-in program where you can send in your iMac Pro and we'll upgrade your memory for you so you get an aftermarket memory option will be available from OWC. You know, in the not too distant future we're expecting to be able to announce a DIY upgrade kit for our advanced users and OWC partner sites that can support the upgrade for you. So one of the important benefits to either a send-in program or a post-purchase DIY kit is that you're, you would be able to upgrade your iMac Pro to more memory. It's not locked into the original memory you bought because these are expensive machines. So if you determine that your need in the future all of a sudden needs 64 gig of memory or more, then we can help you make that possible. So that's the iMac Pro torn down. Thanks, Matt, for taking us through. It was awesome of you. And you out there, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.